Hello, my name is Peter Johnson, and this is my presentation on food forests and why they matter. For my capstone project, I worked with Eli Wheat on Skyroot Farm, working on learning some permaculture farming methods and working in the food forest while I was up on Whidbey Island. And while I was working on the farm, I was also conducting some independent research through scientific analysis of research papers, um, mostly focused on permaculture and food forests, but also trying to look at what the benefits of food forests are, um, especially in urban environments. So food forests provide an excellent opportunity to introduce green spaces and biodiversity into areas that need them most. And permaculture practices in food forests aim to achieve this by mimicking ecosystems that have already existed for centuries. Around the world, biodiversity loss is a major issue. Some major contributors to biodiversity loss are agriculture and urban development. Food forests present an excellent opportunity to help address these issues and mitigate their effects. In order to understand how food forests could be used to bring biodiversity to cities and farms, I conducted an independent research project on the benefits of food forests. My objective for my research is to provide a clear outline of what, forest, what a food forest is and what a food forest does. In order to understand what services food forests can provide, I conducted an independent analysis of scientific research. I also worked alongside Eli Wheat Skyroot Farm to gain hands-on experience in permaculture farming practices and food forests. While working on the farm with Eli, we also had a book club reading The Holistic Orchard by Michael Phillips that provided some very valuable insight into holistic uh, farming practices and natural orchard management. Uh, the results of my research yielded some very interesting findings. Food forests can provide all kinds of services to local communities. Food forests are excellent green spaces, uh, especially in urban environments. Um, they can also really help to increase the biodiversity that is present. Um, and while increasing the biodiversity, it also helps improve the function of the food forest. and helps the food forest produce better quality food and helps with pest management and disease management as well. And finally, I found that food forests are excellent at capturing carbon from the atmosphere. While early on food forests will have most of the carbon capturing happen in the lower stories of the food forest and the soil as well. Over time, as the trees grow older and start to increase in size, the trees start to take over the majority of that carbon capturing. So it's kind of a cool relationship there. For the analysis of my research, food forests take ecosystems that already exist and they focus them on food production. This means food forests can be introduced to uh, most environments, either urban or natural. With a focus on local plants, food forests provide excellent biodiversity in any setting. Uh, Green spaces can also be created in urban settings using food forests. And these green spaces can provide excellent gathering spaces for communities, for community learning, um, or just community events for people to gather. Funding for food forests can even be sourced using carbon capturing and carbon credit systems so that companies that want to help offset their carbon footprint could invest in projects like food forests um, because funding can be an issue with the commercial viability of food forests. They don't bring in a lot of their own income. And so having outside, 
outside sources that could provide financial assistance for Food Force could be incredibly valuable. In conclusion, Food Force are an incredible example of permaculture farming practices, having the ability to create a green space that can produce food, promote biodiversity, and help in the fight against climate change is incredible. There has to be increased funding and research directed towards Food Force so that their benefits can be fully realized. Related literature, read The Holistic Orchard, Trees, Fruits, and Berries, The Biological Way. I would highly recommend it. It's an excellent book. And thank you so much to my site supervisor and faculty advisor, Eli Wheat. Um, he was a wonderful person to work with throughout this entire process, and I really appreciate all the help that he gave me. Thank you so much.